these kids really are great kids who want to learn and this just gives them a little bit extra oomph to become part of the community in which they want to be. Realtor Jeremy Lichtenstein lives in one of the richest counties in America and he was stunned to learn that many children in the schools around him do not have enough food. So he rallied the community to do something about it. You're going to Stonegate with Mike Ridgeway. I am founder of Kind Kids in Need Distributors. What we do is provide kids meals to take home on weekends. It was a huge shock to me that 35% of the children in the school district are on free and reduced meal plan. The kids who are on that program actually get breakfast and lunch at school, but evenings are on their own and weekends are on their own. They go home to an empty fridge, empty cabinets, and this bag of food is pretty much like a lifeline for some of my kids, you know. If they don't get this food, then sometimes they don't eat for the whole weekend. You are genuinely helping kids and families better lives, better outcomes for their academics because I can't imagine what it would be like to go to school hungry. And the other interesting thing is that we've gotten feedback from the counselors is the fact that a child is able to invite another child over for a play date if they have some food there and therefore they're able to socialize better. It also gives the counselors an excuse to really touch base with the children. It has opened up so many more ways for us to get to them. So it really has allowed us to do more for our community here. We started off with uh, one school, 37 kids, and a budget of about $3,000. And today we're at 2,100 kids we're feeding in 27 different schools with a budget of over $250,000. Kynes Growth presents a huge logistical challenge for Jeremy. Every six weeks, he must coordinate the food purchase and raise an army of volunteers to get the food to the schools. Which is about 90,000 items now. We usually have over 60 volunteers at one time. Costco, they package it all together in each cart per school. And then when the volunteers show up, they pull the carts, load them in their cars, and bring them to the schools. And then I have a small little army of mothers who assist me packing it into bags and then putting it into plastic bins. The whole community, both young and old, want to make kind work. The one thing that's amazing, every time Jeremy introduces the concept to people, money either flows or volunteers step up. And I feel like that is really a testament to who a person is, right? If you can draw all these people in, it's something amazing. Every Saturday morning I wake up knowing there's over 2,000 families in my community that are better off because of our efforts, and that's enough to keep me going and growing.